We're being asked to find the inverse of this function. Let's go ahead and work it out. So the first step is to replace f of x with y. So y is equal to the natural log of x minus 4 plus 2. The second step is to switch x and y. So we have x equal to the natural log of y minus 4, parentheses, plus 2. And the third step is where the bulk of the work takes place. We actually have to solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and write down what we have one more time. So x is the natural log of y minus 4, and then plus 2. So we're looking for y, and y is trapped inside of the natural log. It's right there. So it's a good idea to first isolate the natural log. So we'll do that by subtracting 2 from both sides. So we end up with the natural log of y minus 4. I wrote it on the left-hand side. is equal to x minus 2. Now we're going to use a powerful formula. e to the natural log of x is equal to x. Right? Very, very useful stuff. So we will exponentiate both sides of this equation. So this is in parentheses. So here, our x is this piece right here. So the left-hand side is just y minus 4. On the right-hand side, we have e to the x minus 2. To finish, we'll add 4 to both sides. So we end up with y equals e to the x minus 2 plus 4. And the fourth step is one I like to do. I like to write down the final answer using the proper notation. So f inverse of x, this is equal to e to the x minus 2 plus 4. And that is the final answer. I hope this helps.